Okay, Jack, uh, it's coming in, and it's right in the center of our screen. Okay, Vance, uh, uh, can you, uh, think you can guess what that might be, uh, Vance? Better than Charlie? I don't want to start flipping coins at this point. Okay, Vance, we're pointed uh, just a little ways off from looking directly at the moon. Uh, Jim is holding the camera through window three. The sun is coming at about uh, 40 degrees off our left side. And what uh, we're going to show you in just a minute is uh, about 30 seconds of wastewater dump show you just what it looks like. It's uh, really fantastic. Okay. We'd like to see Okay, we saw uh, some droplets uh, speeding out for a little while, Jack. Now we don't see anything. Actually, uh, Vance, what you're looking at is uh, solid uh, water droplets coming out just about uh, all the time. It lights up the whole uh, sky around the moon. Uh, it's just probably too fine for you to see. Now I think they come out a little thicker. Okay. Yeah, we see those. Fido says he can understand why that would perturbate his trajectory now. It's amazing watching these uh, little frozen droplets maneuver. Uh, they seem to go in all directions, but finally, after they get out a certain way, settle down, and they all seem to be traveling about the same direction. Right, that's uh, coming in real well. We can just barely see those parts of the limb. They must be in a shadow. Okay, now you're looking at a uh, cluster quad at the lower part of your screen. Yeah, I've got the uh, f stop all the way uh, open now, man. That uh, quad. Uh, All uh, right, we see the uh, the nozzle of the quad, but it's uh, dark and it's uh, not easy to see. Uh, 13, Houston, ENCO suggests you try average if you're in peak to see if that gives us a better picture. Okay, we're in average now.
think that helps out. We can see it better. Okay, flight. We, we shouldn't leave it there too long. Okay, now, 13, request you either move it away from the, uh, <clears throat> the bright area or else, uh, move it back to peak. Over. Coming in about the same front, and you're a little weak now. I call. We could see when you went back to peak. Zoom in on the, the moon, and it's uh, near the center of our screen, just a little to the left. Very clear. We can't tell if it's uh, gray or light brown, though. That's negative, Fred. I don't know if you can uh, make out the statement there, man, on the moon, but it uh, looks like the Terminator's uh, yeah, central uh, plane there is somewhere around uh, Descartes, maybe. Okay, we we see it just as a, a bright uh, portion of the lunar disk, and uh, it looks a lot like you see it from Earth. Uh, very bright. We're unable to see any features at all. Advance for uh, 
money down to mid course two. We're up to on our checklist to uh, minus six minutes to go. Uh, Roger, minus six minutes. Uh, understand you're about ready to turn on the gimbal motors and all that sort of thing. Okay, we see the computer now in the upper middle part of the, the panel. I think we see somebody's checklist in the center couch. Must be uh, Jim holding the checklist. Right, then, uh, what Jim's holding now, he's got a, a pen in his hand with a brick on a string. Uh, uh, it's sort of a uh, simple-minded uh, accelerometer. This burns pretty short. I'm not sure uh, even that's going to show very much, uh, but we'll see if it'll uh, stretch out at the end of the string. Yeah, we see the pencil at the uh, uh, top of the picture floating around. And Jack's coming into view now. And I've gone back. Okay, yeah, I've gone back to average now, and uh, that's how the picture. Roger. Now, in a few minutes, Vance, I guess we'll uh, see how about the only uh, system we hit uh, used yet uh, works. Everything else sure has worked uh, mighty fine. Right. Spacecraft's really working nicely. Okay, we're picking up uh, panel two now. Still a little bit of the checklist. Uh, pick up the uh, 
right. We just saw your your testing of the caution and warning system at the uh, left-hand side of the panel on our TV. See the lights all uh, flash on. You're doing it again. Making timer showing up as a uh, brilliant green in the upper left hand part of the picture. Jack, read you loud and clear. Okay, fine. We're showing minus eight and a half minutes. Roger, Houston copies.
if the focus is good enough that we can see the position of your four ball valves at the top of the picture for the big uh, SPS engine. 